In today's lesson, I'm gonna cover all on that packing and how you can become a bit more proficient at it, get it up to like a, a lot more speedy. A lot of people say uh, different ways. Uh, I'm gonna show you my technique and how I do it to get a bit more speed. I've heard a lot of different ways. A lot of people go with arched hands because they think it helps. I don't know how. I've never really got on with the arch hand way. It never worked. My way. Uh, to get a bit more speed is keep your hand as close to the strings as possible no matter what and have your pick really close to the strings as well like properly maybe a pick width away that way it decreases the amount of time between strikes and you can come up and down a lot quicker so a lot of people when they do it have their fingers on and go with the arch way, like Michelangelo Beatty spoke about it. Arch, and it helps you come down in full control, but it's never really worked for me. What I do when it's close is pretty close and have the tip corner, is kind of what I use, and that's what gets the speed for me. Everybody will obviously have their own way, you can probably do variations of like an arch or close to it or um, practice like, just palm you and practice see how it feels close and see what happens then once you get more and more used to it obviously you'll get a bit more into it and everything though uh, with mine I just I can in a second I'll give the piece I'm gonna do I've got two examples to practice but it'll end up hopefully if you not practice enough good is one or which is just a pentatonic scale that second one but that's all with close to it all of that even just doing that it might not sound great it might sound utter crap when you're doing it but doing that will help you, it doesn't need to be pants, it doesn't need to be big things, it's just to get your hand doing it. So you can even just start with five, seven, eights, and just do that all day, just... Move around, get your hand used to moving while doing it, or I practice by going up and down two strings. Which is five, seven, eight. Five, seven, eight, eight, seven, five, eight, seven, five. And that's a good way to practice it. So the first example, the quick one I did, will take a ton of practice. And it's, so it'll start 10, 12, 13 on your E, and it's gonna go all the way up and stop on your A. It's, 12, uh, 10, 12, 13, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 13, and then you're going to come up and it's all going to be right up till your A on 12s, 11s and 10s. And that'll be 12, 11, 10, up, 12, 11, 10, 11, 12. Up a string again. And that's just basically that, and then you can practice going back down. And then obviously that's going to take a lot of practice just to get the speed up with your hand, get used to the pattern. The other one that I did was a pentatonic, so it's 12 and uh, 15s. No, 12 and 15s. And it's going to be 12, 15, 12, up to your B, then 15, then 12 on your B. So from there, hammer back 15, 12, up 14 on your D, back to your 12 on your B, back to your 14, 
12 on your B, your G, sorry. And just follow the same pattern of across, across, up, down, across. So it's And then once you build up. That's basically just a, a quick starter into doing alternate picking speed wise. It can take time, it can be fumbly, it can be tricky because getting the up down strokes, sequencing them so you're getting them right is always a pain. I always start on a down and it makes it easier to follow it up because it'll be, say it's a three note one, down, up, down. Then when you come up the string you're going to uh, up already. Just makes it easier to follow if you're going down, up, down, up a string is on an upstroke, back down, it just works. So that helps a bit, uh, makes you a bit more speedy, it'll obviously take a lot of time as I've said, but practice at it, stay at it and you'll be getting it down. I will see you next week.